feels good to be back. Back from where? I am back from prison. Oh, yeah? Oh, man. Let me tell you, it was just god awful. Oh, yeah? Tell me about it. Do, okay, first off, the food's just okay. You know what I mean? Okay in prison. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't, I don't know if I would eat there again. However, I do think it was a learning experience. All you right. Know, I thought they took a really cool photo of me. Uh, so I'll probably put that, you know, up on my wall. Oh, you know, oh. Just to show people how cool I am now because I went to prison. Well, you have a lot of hair. Yeah. They didn't shave your head? Just the sides. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's, as long as it's above your ear, you're good. Oh, it's like the military. Ear, we're clear. That's what they told me. Oh, are you sh- sure that's what they said? <laughs> I think so. I think so. Okay. Two right. clueless dudes here. I'm Mad Mike. I'm the Hank. And we are here to run, rock your socks off, and to have a good show. And uh, let me tell you right now, uh, from what I understand, I've got my news team working double time. Apparently, there's a lot going on, and we're going to get to some of that. Uh, Also, we're going to talk about some pretty interesting uh, uh, Yelp stuff today uh, that I think uh, you you may just want to hear. It may just help you make decisions on restaurants that you probably wouldn't have thought. That's interesting. That before, or you are eating at now, and they may change your mind about how much you want to eat at that restaurant because of like rats in the kitchen or something. Yes. Oh, also, we're going to do a very special put that in your mouth. Oh, beautiful. And for all of our live stream watch your dues. That's you guys. That are on the live streams. Bow, 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 bow. We're also going to do a nice, cool, mother fluffing unboxing. And this unboxing is going to be epic. And I'm just going to give you a clue. It has to do with the new Avengers Endgame. What? Yes. What? So this unboxing is pivotal to your life. Oh, damn. It it may change your dang life. Beautiful. I'm out here saving lives, bro. With Avengers. With Avengers. Dude, you're amazing. God. I'm I'm like I'm like comic Jesus right now. That's how I feel. That's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, bring in bring in the word of of the gospel comics to everybody. I like that. I appreciate that. It's going to be it's going to be maze balls. Matter of fact, talking about Endgame, do we have any any plans for Endgame? Do you want to do you want to do you want to tell our uh, our listeners any about uh, Endgame at all? Well, okay. Well, I can tell you that we're going to go see it on Saturday. Yes. Uh, but I'm also seeing it Thursday when it opens. I'm seeing it Friday afternoon, and then again on Saturday. Something. <laughs> that's true. Three days in. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! But that's, that's how I do. That's, that's how, how that's how you do. I'm we just d- that excited. We didn't do that for Captain Marvel though. No, but I did see Daredevil in the movie theater. The the. Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck. I admit, I've seen it in the movie theater six times. Oh, that's quite a bit. In the theater. In theater. Now, outside of the theater, I've probably seen the movie like 20 times. If it was as long as Titanic, would you have seen it six times in the theater? (sighs) Yes. Okay, cool. See, the issue with Titanic is I just wanted the boat to sink. I don't need three hours. It took longer for the boat to sink in the movie than it did in real life. I, I don't think that's accurate. <laughs> it boggles my goddamn mind. It is. I don't think that's accurate. I looked accurate. it up. I Googled that shit. Are you... You know what? My producer, Waz, will testify to this. You know, Waz, I don't know if that's true. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I pre- is that part of my job to just blatantly agree? Yeah, of course. Dude, of course. it's so true. <laughs> I don't appreciate that. Uh, but I, I'm serious. It like, it like seriously did. It seriously took longer it, it, for it to sink in the movie than it did in real life. I, 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 sh- I shit you not. That's how you, that you stand, beso- you stand I do, behind that. I stand behind that. Okay. I That's stand okay. behind that. Well, okay. well, well, what else we got going we'll, on? We'll have to nick a Wikipedia get it. Well, I know, I know for the last show, we discussed the voyage of the Titanic leaving. Okay. And, I, and then, you know. Spring break is on. Saying. Oh, spring break. Yeah. So maybe what I'll do is... Maybe I'll do a little public service announcement about beaches. Seems how that's kind of the, the thing going on it's, right now. You go spring so break, random. you go, you got to go, you uh, go to, the to beach. beaches, right? Yeah. So we're going to talk about all those things, but, and also we've got our artist feature. We're going to get to some music. Now, I know there are some people out there that have said less music, more talking, but I Is don't. Is it true? I don't know. I don't, we're, so we're going to try something new today. We're going to do a little bit less music. Uh, but we are still doing music because music is awesome and it it makes my wiener it's move. The power of life. Yes, 
It is. The, it is. And it makes Mad that, Mike's wiener move. Yeah. Who sings that song? That's the power of love. I don't know, but it was Back to the Future, Huey right? Lewis. Yeah, yeah, right. Eddie Money? What? Hue, Huey Lewis. No, it was Huey not Lewis. Eddie Money. I don't know. What's I get, wrong? What are I you doing? Confused. What are you confused. How do you get confused? <laughs> No, they, don't I, they I mean, look the same? They may look the same, but everybody looked the same back then yeah, with the with did, the long hair. And, and which wait, Huey Lewis is he also the one that that did that song um, with all the girls in the background that all looked the same? You oh, might no. as well face oh, it, no. you're addicted to love. Yeah, I don't was know that where Huey you're. Lewis? No, I don't. No, was that, was that Eddie Money? No, no that was not Eddie Money either. Them, what really? Was... I don't know what you're doing right now. Oh man, I'm so... I know who that was. Oh, don't don't dead air for me because <laughs> we'll come back right. on the break. We'll, 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 right. Who do right. you to love? Tell us in the well, comments. How, how about how about Let's we? Get to st- you know what? I'm my own worst enemy. So I have some information I'd like to pass on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so so on me. the Titanic. Yes. The movie. Yes. Rated PG-13 that came out in 1997. Maybe. It did. I'm looking at it. Your opinion. It's factual. <clears throat> Three hours, fifteen minutes. Yes. All right. So the information that I received from one of the homies that I'm so glad that he decided to chime in and provide me with such delicate and appropriate information. You are unfortunately right. The Titanic Woo-woo. did, in fact, <laughs> sink in shorter time right? than the worthless movie. Is that not? Just, that just yeah, boggles my that's mind. true. So the, go ahead, Waz, what's up? Robert Palmer. Unfortunately, you're incorrect. Oh, yes. Robert Palmer. Uh, Addicted to Love is by another person of that time period, not Huey Lewis, but Robert Palmer. Yeah, he, he, he kicked the bucket, if I remember correctly. So it did take longer, it and did. it was Robert two Palmer. Two hours and 40 minutes. Two hours, <laughs> two hours and 40 minutes. Oh, man, it couldn't hold on. It couldn't just like, bob you know? at the top for just a few more minutes. As long as that damn ship was, and it couldn't just hold on for just a little bit longer. Three hours and Jack, and you know, poor Jack. At, at, least, at least she was hot, and he got to like, make a picture of her. Yeah, but, there was, dude, there was room on the door. Yeah. Like... There's no, there's no other way around. And honestly... I mean, they banged in the back of the car. You would have thought that they could have got on the... On this the, dude, that lady, caused him to get in a fight with some rich dude. Oh, totally. His whole thing was like, I'd have just kicked her off the door. Yeah, totally. Been like... I mean, she wasn't that hot. Titties ain't nothing but sex a fat, bitch. Float. You, know, you know what's fantastic? Okay, maybe I wouldn't say that. This Taco Bell Baja Blast. Oh, this Baja Blast. Up in the air. Woo! Gotta love our Baja Blast. We forgot to get one... For our producer, home. man, we're an asshole. I this we week we're. We it's okay. I'm full of Zip Fizz. Our sponsor, Zip Fizz. Ooh. I put that Zip Fizz in the bottle, and I'm all buggy. Can't go wrong with Zip Fizz. I'm all flopping around, all glad, but with no uh, that bad part. You know the you know what the jitters and stuff. I got only happy yeah. jitters. Oh, yeah. No crash. No that's crash. that's one of the great no things. You, you, Zip Fizz is actually one of our sponsors. And yeah, Zip Fizz. All yep. day. Taco Bell is not yet. <laughs> <laughs> but I put Zip Fizz we're in my Taco Bell. I sprinkle it on my burrito. Oh yeah! Ooh, energy burrito. Energy, energy burrito. Oh uh, my! Bacon oh, into cakes. My. I love it. Oh, that sounds man. fantastic. Edibles. Mmm. <laughs> and not, also, not you know, legal in most states. You're listening to us from the Kicker Studio. We got our cool Kicker headphones on. They're yes, pretty they awesome. Are. Uh, so uh, you can go to Kicker.com. And uh, check out their headphones. Just uh, kind of kick it around a little bit in your mind. Yeah, just kick it about. And then, uh, if you want to know exactly tabor. what we're wearing, we are wearing oh, the yeah. Kicker Tabor Premium headphones. They are Bluetooth. They sound amazing. The Bluetooth speaker is called the Kicker Bullfrog. Oh, it's is waterproof. That what this is? You can actually throw this in the pool. I you thought can. it was some new form of birth control. <laughs> It'll plug her up. You can also <laughs> charge your phone from that. Oh, that's cool. You can. Oh, no, there's a little. Auxiliary, but it's cool, right? Like, you can actually toss that in the pool, like, literally into the pool and jam out. Wow, legit! I'm all about jamming. And if you're a mermaid, that's fantastic. Mermaid, okay. So, So what's new with you, dude? Besides besides you coming back from Disney, (sighs) you and you enjoyed a week down in Disneyland or Disney World, Disney World, right? Yeah, the world, the world, yo. So, how was the world of Disney? Hot as balls, yeah, I, I assumed. Bro, and you know what? I knew it was going to be, so I shaved my taint. That's good. Yeah, that's always a good move. I didn't want it to get like... You know what swamp ass in the swamp? 
No, I figured it'd get all like natty and oh, totally, bro. Oh, and it, would, it would suck when you sit down, like you're nothing but soaked and soggy. Yeah. So I shaved it, and I was still fairly miserable. Did you despite put, the shaving? Oh, okay. Well, I mean, yeah. But no, yeah, I, I creamed it. I creamed it. Made sure nice and lotion. The last thing you want is to have taint burn. Definitely. Yeah, that's a real yeah. thing. I think that's. Oh, actually, it's definitely. Yeah, yeah. They they got a Shaq on television for that shit. Right. Yeah, Shaquille yeah. O'Neal. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Shazam. Yeah. Boom. The good Shazam. <laughs> you know what? We talked about Shazam a, f- a couple of shows ago, and you, you actually stated, and I want to call you out on this. You yeah, actually stated that the, the show was okay. I did. And then you do this Mad Mike thing that you do, yeah. and you sleep on it. I sleep on it. And now you say Shazam. It made me angry. You, you finished the, the, the sentence. So basically Shazam was Spider-Man 3, okay. the, the Raimi Spider-Man 3, and a Power Rangers movie kind of mashed into one. And it honestly bothered you know, the thing that really bothered me the most was the writing okay the writing was not good i actually disagree with you i actually enjoyed it i actually the writing you you, you, forced, you liked an old man saying put my hands me. on your staff okay no i didn't like and that sh- say my name that was you weird. liked that part that was Pedo. we you and i looked at each other and i lost amongst the, the entire theater we we effing began laughing yeah i, lo- I lost it um, but no, that's like the only part of the movie that I didn't care for was put your hand on my staff and say my name. But if there, like, and the rest I of the could movie, have really gone without that. He's totally angsty. He's a complete dirtbag through the entire movie. He's a 14-year-old kid. With zero responsibility. And what does he do in the very end? He still doesn't take responsibility. He gives it to everybody else. Shazam. I hated it, bro. <laughs> that made me so angry. But well, I, I just think it's, it's, it didn't make you angry the night the, that we went and watched it. And the villain on our is not date good. when I bought you dinner, I bought you, you didn't dinner. S- bullshit. I got. I took Wait, where you did to we go. I took you to Panda Express. <laughs> 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 I dined you real good. <laughs> I dined you real good. That's right. And I bought snacks. Mm, mm-hmm. That's right. That's true. Don't try to play off on me. Um, yeah. So let's. You know. Speaking of Panda Express. Let's. Uh, I think you've got some some Yelp reviews you could do on on some places. I think a, one restaurant in particular. Oh I yeah. I think you've actually got something. I do. I do. I do. I, I'm interested to hear. Yeah. Give Yelp me, uh, me. Let me see if I can Yelp you. Uh, I don't have a. Uh, we don't have uh, any uh, intro music yet, but uh, we'll just use this. Yelp reviews. All right. This this comes out of Olive Garden. And uh, oh, that's tits. That's cool. Yeah, they're over here high fiving. That was yeah. cool. All right. Do so you want to do you want to do it one more time? Okay. I, I feel like everybody really they do it. Do it now. Yelp review. That's deep. Y'all ready for this? Okay. This this <laughs> this is a Yelp review from Olive Garden out of oh Olive Garden. Uh, I've eaten at Olive Garden. Uh, I love Olive Garden. I I love. I actually love Olive Garden. Olive Garden's where me and uh, Olive Garden. My missus actually uh, went on our first date. Was Olive Garden? Was Olive Garden? Olive Garden. Yeah, just after I fell asleep at the movie. Yeah, that was our first date. Y'all went to Olive Garden after or before? Um, I think we went. Yeah, shit. I don't know. That was so long ago. Olive Garden. All right. So this is out of California. I was trying to say Olive Garden Um, as much as I can. So Olive Garden. Uh, this is, like I said, a Yelp review, so this is what David P. out of California has to say. Okay. If they had found an Iraq, oh my goodness, an Iraqi Olive Garden, it'd be good enough reasons for invasion. The food at this particular location clearly falls under the WMD category, <laughs> though I'm not sure it's organically based in any way. Someday, I'm going to preemptively invade this place. I'm sure the wait staff will greet me as a liberator i won't cost <laughs> but a billion dollars what it won't cost but a billion dollars and take six months i swear what's wrong with this guy i i <laughs> a while back our little family went with our 50 dollars gift card to the Saratos olive garden had some piss poor salad some pasta that tasted like ass <laughs> why'd you eat it then some meat that tasted like ass still yet and some bread that was probably good when it was baked, but had been gone tough in the last billion years. 
and now tasted like ass. <laughs> the service was actually really good, and I felt bad for the young man who had to carry that shit around and pretend I was anything but an ass. Excuse me, sir. How was your serving of ass? Did you enjoy that ass tonight? Would you like me to box the leftover ass to take home? Poor guy. Don't give... <laughs> don't, don't nobody... Where's, where is... Is he from Missouri? <laughs> He's from where I'm from. Don't nobody give us another Olive Garden gift card. I'm effing... <laughs> I'll effing kill you. <laughs> wow. So, um, I'm starting to think he did not enjoy his like, Olive listen, Garden experience. If you are ever in Cerritos, California, <laughs> and Olive you Garden. happen to see an Olive Garden... Maybe refrain from that one. Yeah. It does have three stars, though. It's 71 reviews. Well, it's three stars. So, I mean, three stars. That's average. Yeah. Which means you got a 50-50 of getting good food. Yeah. Right? I mean. It's average, right? Well, no. 70% uh, chance. That's like, yeah. Really? Yeah. It's interesting. Like 65. 67 and a half-ish. Yeah. Roughly. 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 I, would, I wouldn't want to put that ass in my mouth, though. <laughs> you would. Yeah. You would if it was free. Fifty dollar gift card. Come on. Low morals. He can't, let it, he can't let it go to waste. Low morals. You know what's true? I, what else I would, you got for me? I would totally yelp me. Yelp me again. I would totally um, yell me again. That's the only <laughs> yelp one I got, dude. What? No, I sent you an email. Weirdo. Oh. This, this guy. He's like, I don't know. How do you want it? I'm like, give me your email. I'm like, okay. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll do it by email. So, I didn't get anything. So, um, Check why, your email. Why, oh, why, yeah. I'm, I'm curious why you, why you uh, airdropped the other one. I guess it was convenient and right there. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So this, uh, this review um, is from the San Francisco County Treat? Jail. Oh, oh, okay. So this is going to be an interesting one. Uh, this one has three stars. I kind of led into this um, one earlier. The, the guy apparently isn't happy about his stint in the San, Franci uh, San Francisco County Jail. He states, I got stabbed here. The food was uh, fresh and drinks were tasty, but I got stabbed here. Uh, <laughs> would consider going back. Um, and then from uh, an another one, we have, uh, today I got back with my girlfriend. She's the reason I got uh, put in this semi-hotel. I was here for a week and I had a great time. I'm glad he got five stars. Uh, my mom doesn't let me go out, so it was like prom or social gathering, but with all guys. Yeah. I felt cool. Hmm. It gave me a feeling of importance, and my girlfriend said she liked bad boys, so I think I turned her on when I was here. The oh, food was okay, not the best, and I would have uh, done anything for a cup of noodles. I just oh, felt yeah. a man. <laughs> I felt like a man. You know, have you ever missed a part of a sentence and you really wish that you wouldn't have, but it's a little too late? I felt like a man for once in my life, and I can't stop telling all my friends. I put the picture jail, <laughs> the picture the jail took of me next to my high school diploma, and again, my mom slapped the glasses of, off my face. This time, it left a mark. I wanted her to have a good time like I did, so I called the police, and now she's in the county jail. I know, <laughs> know she'll thank me later. That's very appreciative. <laughs> That's very appreciative. That's fantastic. So, uh, with that, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you who my uh, artist feature our, is our, of the day. Our band feature. Our artist feature today is going to be Papa Roach. Oh. Now, what's interesting about Pop Roach is they really didn't come on until almost the end of the 90s, but uh, early 2000s when they really got popular. But they have actually been a band since 1993. Wow, okay. And they were originally Moby Dick because they didn't have a name. They just named it after their van. Oh. <clears throat> and they actually were turned down. They, had, they just did an EP, and on that EP was their song, They Got Super Famous for Last Resort, was on that EP that they had made. Okay. They got turned down by Warner Brothers. They said, nah, this ain't going to be any good. Um, and it wasn't until months later that somebody else was like, they, they didn't think it was going to work, but then they went to one of their concerts, and uh, it just, they, were, they couldn't believe how many people were singing along to their songs. So they signed them, wrote a bunch of, they called themselves Papa Roach, which is apparently after his grandfather. 
Very cool. Jacoby Shaddix, the lead singer. And strangely enough, this dude like has somehow miraculously managed to stay out of trouble. That doesn't happen. No, right? I'm looking for dirt in the guy and I can't find none. You know what? We talk a lot about the Baja Blast, but honestly, Pinch's Tacos are much better than Taco Bell. Way better. Way better. If you haven't tried it, fly to Vegas just to eat there. Eat at Pinche's Tacos. They're amazing. Very good. Uh, all right. So, man, we're just uh, just two songs. We're hopping yeah. right into some stuff. First thing we're going to do is put oh, something in our mouth. I love it. All right. <laughs> put that in your mouth. <laughs> I'm just glad I remembered it. Uh, okay. Would you have like remembered it if he wouldn't have pointed it out to you? Mm. Or did you completely Ooh. forget? No, he remembered the echo independently, bless his heart. Uh -huh. I did. Okay, here we go. I'm terrified. Uh, what? Mm. So is this like uh, ground beef? Hey. Now, this is in honor of Easter, because Easter's right around the corner. Did you wash your hands That's when before hand in, handling this and yeah, giving maybe. it to me? For the audio listeners, this is a peep. We're looking at so peeps. This is before good old uh, Hold on. Know, <laughs> Easter, <laughs> for Easter, so it's a little bit before Easter. But this is a peep. And I want you to tell peep. me what peep. flavor of peep it is. Because this is not your normal flavor. Okay. No way, folks. Can Ready? we do it? Yep. I want to do it. Smell it. Okay. Oh, put it oh. In your, I don't. I, already, I smell it. I already know. Tongue. I already know what it's gonna be. Guys. Give it a tongue tickle, and then give it a bite. I already know what it is, though, and I'm not for sure. I want to oh. go any further. I, I smelled it before. Put it in your goddamn mouth. <laughs> you little no, bitch. No, no. I had good. pancakes the other day. Put it in your mouth. Yeah, I smelled it before I took a bite. Yeah, and I could tell. <laughs> it's a little strong. It is. It's maple pancakes. I think it actually tastes good. No, it's you know, yeah. it's maple AF. It's, it is maple. I mean, I think they pushed the maple button a little hard. Whatever knob on the machine on the assembly line when it was labeled <laughs> yeah. maple, that knob's... Just they like, were like, you know what? Let's f and keep going with this. Well, then let's let's wash it down. I'm yeah. going to go ahead and not finish my pee. <laughs> let's, let's wash it down with another pee. Yeah. So Honestly, he's not kidding with the washing it down. This is like the perfect next peep seriously now that i spit that in the trash where it belongs there we go uh, i'm actually so this one is red stoked on this one smells good oh i'm gonna tickle it with my tongue i want okay. i went right in you went right i just do that oh no i don't wait mm. oh no it's too strong mm. Mm. <laughs> you just threw it away it's like, sorry for the audio listeners i threw <laughs> mine away really quickly Mm, it's like cherry. Uh, oh, God, oh no! It's pretty cherry, strong. cherry birthday cake right there. It's, it tastes like medical cherry. Oh, like you does. need to get a medical amount of cherry. Oh, oh, mm. cherry over. Hey, there. I'm digging it. But Man, cherry. you like that cherry, I mm. guess. I'm, I'm in it. Woo. Mm, that's good stuff right there. I find it off-putting. Mm. All right, folks. So, mm. as I was saying, it's spring break. Beaches are a thing right now. Maybe it is bad. Maybe this cherry one is bad. <laughs> right? So, uh, folks, I'm going to tell you why going to the beach is such a bad idea. Oh, it's bad? Oh, yes. And I'm going to list some reasons. In fact, I'm going to list six. Six reasons why going to the beach is such a bad idea. One. I'm going to get it started off with number one, folks. And you know what? I bet you everybody's already guessed it. Sharks. Okay. Oh, totally. Let's just start with the obvious, folks. Fortunately, all you have to do to ward off sharks is urinate in their direction, preferably mm. in between the gills. Everybody knows this. However, you've probably already peed in the water, just like everybody else, you sick son of a bitch. That's true. Have you ever peed in the water at the ocean? I've only been in the ocean like a couple of times. It should be no big deal because fish and whales do it, so it should be yeah, no big deal. It should be no big deal. Yeah. Two, toxic right. fucking dump. Okay. Oh, totally. Most beaches are cesspools of human waste, not to mention the fact that there's massive amounts of bird shit. Mm. And if I had a nickel for every time I was duped by what I thought was a free baby Ruth bar, <sighs> but it can be a great place to pick up used needles and all the rotting seaweed your heart desires. That's true. Which is not bad. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. There's a silver lining there. 
three. Okay, three. Dude, the sun is hot. Oh, it's totally hot. Dude, it's hot. The sand will quite literally melt your balls clean off. Nothing is safe. More people go to the hospital, and this is a this is a fact right here. More people go to the hospital because they put their sandals on uh, right after taking a swim, mm. only to have them melt directly onto their flesh. Yeah, I believe that. Because it's so damned hot. Even your towel can spontaneously combust if left unattended for more than oh, say thirty seconds. Oh, jeez, that's crazy. <laughs> Sun's hot. It is. It's. It is. It's hot. I'm saving your life right now, folks. Listen. Listen to Mad Mike. Listen like, to what he's got to say. I feel like I'm. I'm shortingers catting this. You feel like you feel like a professor. You look like a professor right like now. Do you one. feel like one? I feel like Sherlock Holmes. Mm, okay. From the Will Ferrell one, which is not that great. <laughs> okay, four. Underwater current. As if being oh, eaten true. by a shark, stung by a jellyfish, or a parachute up your wiener hole isn't bad enough, the fucking water could decide at any moment that it just quite simply hates your ass. And it will pull you out of the sea so far that you can't even possibly hope to swim uh, back before your muscles give out from fatigue and you drown. That's true. Undertow. That's serious. You got to watch out for that. Ooh, or it could just pull you down and drown you almost right away, only for you to wash up two weeks later at some little kid's party, and he'll be blindfolded paying, playing Marco Polo, and he'll accidentally grab your dead junk. Yeah, no, no Gilligan's Isle Scarring here. Scarring the goddamn kid for life. Totally. Because you wanted to go to the beach. What an You ass. ruined a kid's birthday party. What a Because ass. you wanted to go to the beach. How would that make you feel? Number five. five. Terrible. Five. And this is one that I think everyone can also agree on. Okay. Hippies. Oh, totally. Okay? Where there is water and sand, there will always be hippies. That's true. Now, mm-hmm. hippies come in various forms, mind you. You have the homeless hippie that smells like trash and is more leathery than a damn saddle. Okay. Uh, then you have your surfer hippie. This guy thinks he's so fucking amazing because he can swim out in the ocean and ride a wave back to shore. A dead body can do the same fucking thing, dude. Okay? I'm just saying, find a real sport. I got you. Okay. Then you've got your hipster hippie. These hippies are identifiable by their small, their smell. You okay. Know, okay? Uh, real shitty weed. Uh, they usually wear some necklace that can connect them to some spirit animal. And they fucking love to hang out and, uh, at fucking coffee stops and shit. Uh, oh, uh, for the ambiance. Okay? They don't just hang out there for the coffee. It's for the ambiance. Okay. Just go to a goddamn Starbucks. Why do you got to go to all these fancy coffee places? Just go to a goddamn Starbucks like every other working class American. Okay? We all go to Starbucks. I don't even like Starbucks, and I go to Starbucks. I got you. For the love of Christ, there are thousands of them per square mile. You know what? Get it's true. Get a mocha frappe latte like the rest of the world, <laughs> and while you were at it, wash your damn hair. That's true, huh? Even if it's in the bath the bathroom, it's it's totally fine. How there's water it's, you're in everywhere. California, it's, there is it's, literally water everywhere. It is a beach. It's acceptable in California. Many things are acceptable in California. You there's even rotting seaweed for you to do like a seaweed face wrap. So right. And you look like that? And it's you're true. and you're hanging out with your shitty weed. Stinking up the whole city. Okay, one last thing. Okay. Okay. One last thing. And this is what I'm going to leave you with, okay? All right, hit me. This is it. Are you ready? I, I'm, yeah. One word. Okay. Three syllables. Do it. Godzilla. Okay, Godzilla. He always comes out of the water, folks. That's true. Always. You got to be, yes, it's true. If you're hanging out at a beach, there's a chance that Godzilla could come out of the beach and just and crush you. That's true. I saw the movie. It has been the 90s. Matthew Browder, right? Yeah, oh, that's you gotta see the new one. Oh bro. yeah, that's it right. I forgot. So yeah. So that that is why going to the beach. It's such a stupid such, idea. It's such a bad idea. Such a stupid idea. To save yourself, avoid the beach. Don't ruin some little kid's birthday party. Don't get a parasite to crawl up your pee hole. Yeah, you don't want that. You don't, know what I mean? Don't 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 get don't by a get shark. a parasite up your pee hole. You know how terrible that is. It's god awful. It's happened to me. And do you know how much you you would save in uh, sunscreen? Yeah. I and mean, you would save a, a small fortune by go by beach. not going to the beach. You don't just go to the by beach. not going to Walmart and buying the equate. And you don't have to dodge hippies. Yeah. That's true. And all that stinky weed. Yeah. Mm. That's interesting. 
I, you know, what? I'm really glad that you told me that because <laughs> I, Mad Mike, I was house. actually thinking about uh, asking to see if you wanted to go to the beach next week, and I'm so glad. Now you know because you know how I feel. I I would have felt so stupid had you see I had this asked. Pasty whiteness. I don't do beaches. I'm smarter than that, folks. I'm smarter than the beach. I concur, Doctor. <laughs> so. Let's get in some yelping. I think you've got some more for me. I do have some more yelping. <laughs> so, there's a... Oh. Oh. So, this one is from... Um, there's just a lot of letters, so I can't give you the name. I wish I could. Um, but this is in reference to the Mountain Emerald Eyes Cat Face Adult T-Shirt. Now, the subject line is, men still won't sleep with me. Huh. Interesting. <sighs> Interesting. kind of sucks. Um, I was certain, once I ordered this t-shirt, that men would be powerless to resist me. <laughs> Cats are stealthy, graceful, and mysterious. I was under the impression that once I doned this post-modernistic masterpiece, that men would associate me with those qualities. Yeah. Sadly... That would not be the case. However, even though men don't stare at my breast, as I hoped, I noticed that cats do. So at least I'm getting some attention. Well, that's, you know what, that's, how many stars she give it? Only two, though. Oh, um, yeah. Mm. You know. I mean, if somebody's staring at her. I mean, you can't, it's not the shirt's fault. It's, it's, it's not. not. It's not the shirt's fault. Uh, you, maybe you should have cho- And can I show you the picture? Here. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to see it. It's only a, it's like a literally. It's, there's a giant pussy I, on I, it. I, yeah. I kind of. Well, I mean, like, let, let me show it to the camera so I can actually okay, yeah, define yeah, yeah. what pussy is. Well, I mean, a kitty cat. It's a kitty cat. Oh, do that one. Not that one. That one. God, get your cameras right. No, no, we're good. Can you? Be, all right. All right. That's good. That's good. Don't, don't leave dead audio during that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I forgot you were uh, yes, you're over there. Quietly I thought you were talking to something, but no. Okay. Well, what do you, I, don't have, I don't have a microphone attached to my ass. So oh, you I, should, I mean, though. You should, though. I wish I had the For the, the audio whole... listeners, it's just a cat's face on a black t-shirt. Yeah, a giant yeah. cat's face. Yeah. I mean, it's, it takes up the whole shirt. Almost. Yeah, it's literally a cat's face. Yeah, yeah, it takes up like the whole shirt. So, I mean, I don't know. Staring at, staring at your breast. I mean, that's, I mean, that's cool. Staring at your breast. It's so delicious. Well, maybe not. Maybe, Thank you. Maybe, Thank you. maybe it's not, and that's why men weren't staring at her breasts. I'm available for all children's parties. Okay. Uh, Under the age of 12, obviously. Well, how about some history? You want to talk about some history? Let's do it. Let's do some history. All right, let's do it. Let's do some The Best of History. This week. So in 1990, In Living Color premiered on Fox TV. Do you know how long oh, it lasted? Wow. Two was a long time, didn't it? Five seasons. That was it. That's it. Man, I'm shocked because that was such a great all, show. All of the all In of the skits. Color. Yeah, dude. Those skits are still funny to this day. Those skits. Did you actually know that um, the 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 Wayans and Jim Carrey and I think there was a couple others uh, actually did all of the writing for In Living Color. That's awesome. Like they're just in, incredible. Not to mention In Living Color. Exactly. Uh, they were. They had the, the 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 very 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 sexy fly girls. You remember? Oh yeah, and uh, one of the um, judges for Dancing with the Stars, yeah, Miss Carrie Ann Inaba. Yeah, she mm-hmm. was a fly girl. So was so was fly Rosie girl. Rosie Perez. What? Yeah. White man can't jump, Rosie Perez. That's her. Pineapple Express, Rosie Perez. I don't remember. I didn't watch it. Damn, how have you not seen Pineapple Express? And I'm going to hit you. You smoke pot. I don't. I'm going to hit you. I'm going to hit you with Ooh, some that's... good knowledge. Also, Jennifer Lopez. Who's that? Yeah. <laughs> she did. She get famous? Yeah. Not in my eyes. Or, <laughs> I heard she went back to her block. Yeah. <laughs> she should. <laughs> She should. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Back in <laughs> back in 1947 of this week, Jackie Robinson became the first African American to play Major League Baseball. Do you know the team? The Indians? No, it was the Dodgers. Hey. <laughs> Very good. Very good. All right. Ray Kroc. 
Do you know who he is? I do. Ray Kroc? Do you know who he is? Waz, turn the mic on. Do you know? Yeah, that's the guy from Donnie Mikes. That's the guy that started that he started Donnie Mikes. Donnie Mikes. <laughs> you know what I mean. I'm not for sure I do now. You're going to say. Okay. You, I'm, I'm right, but in the wrong way. <laughs> I'm right in the wrong way. <laughs> My ex-wife used to tell me the same shit. All right. Uh, Ray Kroc opened the first McDonald's fast food restaurant in De Plain, Illinois in 1955. For those that don't know, it's not Des Plaines, Illinois. It's De Plain. De Plain? Illinois. Like the Plain, S is silent. De Plain is crashing? For anybody that doesn't know that, you're a fool. <laughs> <laughs> I did did not, you not? I did not know. I didn't mean to call you a fool on air. Well, I mean, I kind of did because like <laughs> Des Moines is Des Moines and you say it Des Moines, right? De, well, I mean, De, Des Moines, yeah. Des, Mo- Des Moines? Des Moines, though. Des Moines? <laughs> Des Moines? Yeah. That's almost as bad as moist. Des Moines? <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Oh, back 1955. That's that's been a that's a long time for a food chain to still remain open, right? What 1955? Yeah, that's when that's when he opened the first fast food restaurant, the Who first did? McDonald's. Oh my God, have you not listened to what I said, Ray Kroc? Well, the first corporate Ray Kroc. One. Ray Kroc. I thought the Ronald McDonald was the guy that opened first it. There was McDonald's fast food restaurant. There was a McDonald's Brothers that opened the actual original McDonald's. Roy Krog owned a franchise. They weren't taking it seriously, and he wanted to expand it bigger, so he bought them out in a deal that allowed um, the original McDonald's restaurant to stay run by the employees and the McDonald's brothers and their families scampered off, left the first restaurant with the employees and then Roy Krog took over the whole rest of the chain. But then he built one right across the street from the original original ones wow. and just ran the old employees out of business with their old McDonald's Dang, in San, uh, Barstow. Wow, that's kind of mean. Well, they could have just actually closed down then, and I would have been okay with it. So, are you sure it wasn't Ronald McDonald, like scary clown, I that decided don't think he they, was done trying to make children cry and decided he wanted to make them hamburgers instead? Listen, <laughs> my investigative skills did not show shit about Ronald McDonald. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. He might be fake. Thank <laughs> he you. Might be. He might not even be real. Thank so, wait, you. are you going to tell me the hamburger is not real too? No, I've seen the hamburger. I've seen him on television. Don't be a fool with me. I've seen him on television yeah, on the commercials. Yeah, He's the purple that. guy. Robble, robble. Oh, no, no, that's not the purple guy. That's Grimace. Uh, the, yeah, Grimace. The, the Man, Hamburglar's your... got the, the black and white with the funny hat. Hey, You're thinking you of Frylock. <laughs> oh, no. The green dude is like Fryler. <laughs> <laughs> I was so confident. No, fr- right. Wasn't it Fryler? Wasn't the green like uh, this girl named Fryler? Something like that, yeah. Like Fryler... Um, Tootie <laughs> McGee. Yeah. Something like that. There's so, a McGee there somewhere. I have no idea. All right. The 16th president of the United States was assassinated in this week. President Garfield. No. Damn. Back in 1865. Grover Cleveland. While watching a play Gorbachev. at the Ford's Theater. Did you say Gorbachev? <laughs> Gorbachev? <laughs> you talking about Gorbachev? No. No. Uh... That was an American president, right? I think so. <laughs> was it Obama? No, not yet. By, uh, by John Wilkes Booth, that would be former President Abe Lincoln. Wow. Can, too soon. We shouldn't joke about it. Yeah, too, 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 soon. Soon. too soon. Too soon. Isn't it weird that he killed somebody in a booth and his name <laughs> was John Wilkes Booth? I just think there's yes. sweet irony there. Yes. <laughs> I just want to point that out to everybody who probably didn't even think of that. But I love it. Yeah, Booth shot somebody in, in a booth. And for all of the people listening, probably think you're an ass now. Right? I know. Cool. I wonder if he yelled out, you've been boothed. <laughs> I don't know. No, I think, he, I think he was more interested in jumping down. Yeah, I think they caught him right away, right? Didn't they? Um, I don't know. I wonder what the story is behind that. They caught you know him what? somehow. Um, Ronnie, let me know. Um, so back in 1900, Ooh. right on the dizzle, the U.S. Post Office issued its very first book of postage stamps really do you think they were cool you think they had like cool people's faces on them you know anything collectible i don't know maybe like tiki torches yeah probably not 1943 swiss scientist dr albert albert hoffman discovered the psychedelic effects of lsd albert hoffman albert hoffman do you know do you know how he discovered it uh um, oh here comes was please i actually do i'm sorry okay yeah, yeah if, he if got Mike, some on his if, hands and then went by bi- on a bicycle ride oh no 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 no! you're you're skipping ahead that's that's coming that's coming. oh okay okay yeah, right. well, I, you, you continue okay, okay okay all right so what he did was i guess this is uh 
you know, 1943, apparently they didn't have latex gloves back then or something. Uh, but he touched, uh, he got a little bit of the LSD on his hands. He touched it uh, to his face and he immediately found, uh, felt the powerful effects. Three days later, he took intentionally 250 micrograms and then rode home on his bike. And that was was considered bicycle day. Uh, bicycle day. Bicycle day. <laughs> That's a thing. Bicycle day. you take day. LSD and you ride a bike and hope not to get hit by a car. Um, I've never done LSD. I wouldn't Dose have a clue. It. you got to be careful. Go, uh, tread lightly. Be, be gentle. <laughs> uh, try mushrooms first. <laughs> Work your way in. Edible, psych- psychedelics by Waz. If you've never had edible weed, don't mess with acid. Because... <laughs> A weed in edible form is a hallucinogen in a way that it's not smokable because it combines with a chemical in your stomach acid to make another chemical that's a hallucinogen. Holy so you start there, you know, you guys, baby steps. Baby steps. All right. Oh, so there, there is. So if, if you want to dope out in Las Vegas, come, come and see two clueless dudes and we will hook you up with Waz. Yeah. And we will mushroom you out. <laughs> Until then. In 1906, <laughs> can, you, can you just go straight into that like that? Is that cool? Yeah, right. yeah. In 1906, San Francisco earthquake and fires kill nearly 4,000 people while also destroying 75% of the city. Of for San Francisco? Of San Francisco back in 1906. Wow, it really populated week. really fast. Yeah. You know how it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The first crossword puzzle book was published by Simon and Schuster Garfunkel in 1924. You know, I whatever happened, what I want to know the truth. What dun, happened dun, dun, to Simon and Garfunkel? Dun, 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 did they just did they well, get I, into an argument? Did they did, were they were they so big, so bad, you know, they they I had become, <laughs> you know, so they, what, so what happened was they grew apart and then all they could hear was the sound of silence. Wrong song. But still, great song. Great song I, I know, I know what you're Paul doing. Simon. I know Gar- what Garfunkel you're doing. Garfunkel lost you're doing. the motivation. He lost the spark. He wasn't trucking as much. And yeah. Simon went on to do all kinds of stuff. Oh, he yeah, did. absolutely. Paul Simon, Simon yeah. went on to do amazing he, stuff. He so got was a shot. gumption mismatch. No yeah, way. Paul he did. Simon Paul Simon did yeah, get like shot. In the, like in the 90s. No. Yeah, he did. Yeah. By Chevy Chase? Probably. <laughs> Call me buddy. Yeah. Either Chevy yeah, Chase or me Sam Kennison. I don't know. Can't. Yeah, no, um, Paul Simon. Kennison did a lot of shooting. Kennison was shot, hit by a car, and that's why he was crazy afterwards. Oh, Lost really? Lost self-control, yeah. Interesting, because he got hit by a car. Well, yeah, that or I'm mixing him up with the other dude, you know. We're cool. close enough. Yeah, we're close enough. We're close <laughs> enough. Continue. So how long do you think that we've had the ability to wash our drawers in public? That question... Drawers. Yeah, like your. I've never washed my drawers. Like your under britches. Oh, I thought you meant like drawers, like on a desk. <laughs> no, hell no. Uh, why? How long? I don't know. Probably. Uh, like in a public environment. A public environment. I've never washed my drawers in public. Okay, well I'll just skip to it. Yeah. The very first la- laundry mat was opened in Fort. Uh, Fort Worth, Texas in 1934. 1934? 1934. Laundromat. It sure was. And there was a German physicist Uh who created the world's most famous equation. Who am I talking about? World's most famous equation? He was also the winner of the 1921 Nobel Prize for physics. John Wilkes Booth. He, he comes back. No. Because he's a time traveler. Do you, you don't know, do you? Oh, it's, it's Norman Einstein. Yeah, are you just talking about Einstein? Shit. Albert Einstein. Unfortunately, he died in don't this week. Don't you mean week, Norman? This week back in 1955. Died at the age of 76. Who, Einstein did? Yeah. Couldn't beat Father Time, huh? Couldn't do it. How smart are you now? <laughs> That's fucked <laughs> up. <laughs> 1770. A British explorer, Captain James Cook, first sighted Australia. Crikey! James Cook. Captain James Cook. Also, a few years later, he picked a fight with the Hawaiians and lost. He died. Yeah, they're big. Yeah. Hawaiians are big, big dudes. Yeah. They will kill you. They did. 
<laughs> and they did. <laughs> well, uh, I'm curious. How does a 42-round boxing match sound? 42 rounds. A real, a real boxing match. 42 rounds. It sounds like it would get really boring after, say, like, six. Or would it? This was real. It happened in Farnborough, Hampshire, UK, in 1860. Wow. When two contenders came to a bare-knuckle match. A bare-knuckle? Bare-knuckle. Could you imagine 42 rounds of bare-knuckle brawl? Dude, that, that's like literally like all day. It would, it would be f for the two people in the ring. Shit, yeah. <laughs> so because it wasn't a legal match and it was considered a fight, the police showed up. Ah. Uh. But they all got away. But they were, they were about Wait to go 43 rounds. They were about to go and begin the 43rd round. So the police, it took them 42 rounds to get there? A round is like three minutes, guys. Well, it took them 42 for the police to arrive? What can I say? And when was this? Uh, this was uh, back in 1860. Dude, bro, they had the police had the fastest horses. <laughs> they didn't have horses back then. Yeah, they did. They lights. hadn't been created. Be -do, be -do. They didn't have created yet. <laughs> no, they hadn't been. They haven't been brought over and shuffled from Africa yet. The 1927 <laughs> sex symbol Mae West was jailed for her role as writer, producer, and director in her play Sex which offended some religious groups, causing a raid and May to be jailed for 10 days. But she was out for good behavior after eight. Good behavior. Yeah. Crazy, right? That's pretty crazy. All right. The last one. 1689, French King Louis XV declared war on Spain. And this week, way back. Really? King Louis? 1689. I want to be like you. Woo -woo. <laughs> that guy? Uh, I don't think that's him. No? You don't think that's him? This book. Okay, yeah, tell me. I have to tell you something. I have to come clean. All right. That was a little Chevelle, by the way. I get it. <laughs> My brother just messaged me. Yeah, okay. He told me that I have to be honest. Okay, be honest. <laughs> I actually, Lay it on the line. I actually owned Titanic growing up. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, it's true. No, no, well, no, I was kind of just... You probably don't own it anymore, but I'm sure your heart will go on. Yeah, it will. It was such a pretty stone. It was. Yeah, he's fucking witty, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's hard to get one up on him because it's he's he's witty. It's cool, no big deal. That's fine. I, you know what? The movie was good, but honestly, I kind of thought it was Leonardo DiCaprio. I'm gonna be honest. With you. <laughs> it's just too long, man. Honestly, just too. Same thing with the Dark Knight. There wasn't much going on. Yeah. At the time, though, you guys, it was a different time. It was. Yeah, that was. Do you remember that? Yes, it was. Wait, you actually owned it, so you know it came in like was. It came with like two. <laughs> it was two VHS. Two v, like two. <laughs> Motherfucker, I'm lazy. I'm too lazy to, to rewind one. Now I gotta rewind two. Well, good thing it didn't wow. have. You know, you didn't have it in DVD because it would have took you a long time to rewind the DVD. Oh my god, forever. Yeah. Or can you imagine Laserdisc? Oh, totally. Be huge. It'd have been a long time. My oh. dad actually used to own a Laserdisc system. Really? Did I tell you that? No. Yeah, it was, no, whatever. Really? I didn't know that. That's yeah. Well, I got some interesting news for you folks. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get, just kind of tell you about what's going on right now. Uh, so a child, a child wins contest to live with a porn star for a month. Get out of here. Couldn't be happier. His mom, however, is not happy about it. So it's like a Michael Jackson Neverland thing. All right, go. 16-year-old Ruslan Shredrin, I don't know if I'm saying Shedrin. That was a very cool German thing yeah. you just uh, did. Was, was uh, 16 year old Ruslan, we'll say Ruslan, was doing what all other 16 year old boys do in their free time when he got much more of a reward than he had originally bargained for. Okay. As it turns out, his favorite special website was having a contest that awarded the 100,000th visitor the chance to live with Russian porn star. Macy sends for a month. Oh. Uh, Ruslan was, of course, incredibly pumped about the opportunity. I didn't believe it at first. I thought it was rubbish. But when it turned out to be true, I thanked the website. I was so happy. I called my friends, and they did not believe it either. Now they are happy for me, too. Some of them are even envious. He also admitted that, fortunately, sends is his type. That's pretty good. His mother, on the other hand, is a little pissed about it. Mm. Uh, I'm absolutely against it, she says. 
He has got exams. He is studying. Uh, she has been fighting adamantly to keep him at home and trying uh, to exchange the stay for a cash reward. Uh, the age of consent in Russia is 16, and when Sens asked what it may lead to, she was very honest. Uh, it is not supposed, but life is life, she mm. says. Uh, most r Russian porn star response ever, probably. Uh, <laughs> it is being reported that Ruslan may actually be 14, but it being Russia, she being a porn star, and him being a teenage boy, they all basically just said, fuck it. That's, right? No pun intended. No pun intended. I got a, I got a story about Sony. Sure. Lay it on me. So, uh... So, easy. <laughs> this is in reference to Sony scoring uh, a big win. Um, for, uh... Oh, that sounds like Jaws. That's... Mm -hmm. That's intense. Mm -hmm. If I would have known that you were, I would have, I would have started talking a little bit later, and it would have sounded great. Yeah, it probably would have. <laughs> so, so <laughs> Sony, Sony made a big score. They they made a a, a little bit of a steal, and they're going to be putting it into their PlayStation Five. So this is straight out of New York, adding the big name dinosaur to an already stacked lineup featuring stars like Nathan Drake and Ratchet. Sony scored a big win for the upcoming PlayStation 5 Wednesday by poaching Yoshi away from Nintendo with a record-breaking 10-year, $400 million contract. What? Yeah. Yoshi. This Yoshi is a is huge Nintendo. day for Sony. Yoshi is one of the most talented and popular characters out there, and we are thrilled yes. by his decision to join the PlayStation family, said Sony Interactive. He does have a mean tongue said Sony Interactive and Entertainment President and CEO Jim Ryan, who revealed Yoshi was drawn to the world-class facilities at Sony's American headquarters in New York and is eager to start the next phase of his career, one he didn't have to share or work in the shadow of Mario or Link. Yeah, which is, which is good, because I'm going to be honest. I almost, I guarantee you, I, I guarantee you, Link... I, I, I think he's Link being an be, asshole. He's got to be an asshole. Yeah, totally. He's got to be an asshole. He's the kind of guy that would probably want like nothing but like purple Skittles in his trailer. Oh, know? yeah. Totally. When he's shooting. Yeah. Stuff yeah. like that. Totally. Yoshi will bring incredible egg-throwing and platforming abilities to our roster. He has been an underappreciated leader at Nintendo for years, and we know fans want to see what he can do outside the confines of that system. We see huge potential in Yoshi, both as a big-time superstar who could potentially carry his own open world survival game as well as work with stars like Kratos and God of War. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, cool, right? Can you see him riding Yoshi? That'd be pretty Totally, nice. totally. Well, I mean, he has he yeah, definitely. Ryan admitted that oh. while he was thrilled by signing, he hoped that Yoshi's famous clashes and feuding with Nintendo's management were a thing of the past, which is cool, right? Yeah, I mean, you don't want that to carry over to your new job. No. You know what I mean? But that's cool. Uh, Yoshi, so Yoshi's making a move. That's incredible. That's, yeah. that's incredible. Um, folks, this is, a, this is incredible. What just came to my desk from my street team out there getting me my news, this is, uh, this is incredible. Do it. First Estonian to discover the moon Get has out. happened. I'm serious. This is in Tallinn, Estonia. Uh, in the United States... The existence of the moon has always been known, a luxury passed down from our ancestors. Mm. In fact, most of the entire world has been aware of its existence for quite some time. Some countries are even attempting to land on the moon, like America did in the 60s. In Estonia, however, this is the breakthrough their scientists have only dreamed of. Beautiful. At the press conference held earlier today, Estonian scientific ambassador Peter Selenkov had this to say. As Estonian scientists, we spend almost the entirety of our day looking into microscopes for answers. Sometimes we even remember to put stuff under the microscopes, like straw and very tiny rocks. We have learned much. We spend the rest of our days and nights looking at the ground to make sure we do not step on any straw or tiny rocks like all Estonians do. So you could imagine my surprise when I was like, hey, I'm going to look up. 
I'm not going to worry about stepping on horse poop or accidentally falling backwards because I looked up too far. <laughs> and there it was, this giant rock in the sky. We do not yet understand its purpose, and we have not been able to see it under the microscopes because it is too big, and obviously it can fly. Mm. We are currently creating giant microscopes in hope that one day the moon will land long enough for us to make the studies with it. I like it. Yes. Peter uh, gave no timetable as to when he expected the giant microscope to be complete, nor did he mention the cost. And I'm sure the Estonian taxpayers are very concerned. Yeah, I would be. Yes. Yeah, yes. Totally. That's true. Okay, folks. Well, now that we've heard this record-breaking news, I mean, that's just... I'm so... You know what? Here, in fact, for the Estonian scientists, for all Estonians out there, we applaud you. It's about time. It's about time. Okay. Ah, very cool. Okay, so I have this huge box that I need to open. <laughs> Let's take a look at this bad boy. I'm so oh excited. Oh my this. god! I just saw it. I'm so excited for this. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I can get it out. I gotta shake it out. I'm shaking right now. That's that's a. <laughs> isn't that a song? That's a. Uh... Dog's all excited. Woo! There we go. Okay. I'm knocking everything over. It's all right. But look at that. Do you know what that is, folks? For for our live stream viewers. Yeah. Anybody? This is incredible. Bueller. No. Bueller. This is Ava Devine's fisting glove. No. No, uh, it, it, no, it's not. It is, it is the Avengers Infinity Gauntlet Legend series. Um, and what makes this so cool is that I can break the box. Nope, that's not what makes it cool. And then we're going to take over the world. <laughs> and there's nothing you can do Look about at it. Look the size of this thing. That's what she said. Wow. How do you... I don't even know how you get this thing. Listeners open. should know, Mike's opening up an Infinity Gauntlet glove from Thanos. I so am. That's true. Are you trying to mute? I, I was. I was actually gonna. I was gonna mute Mike and read read real quick. That way, it didn't. <laughs> you you got to put the glove on the right hand, though. Wow! Oh, wow! Put, put the. It is a big Infinity Gauntlet. Oh my it's god! It's clear that there are no expenses paid. <laughs> no expenses paid. No expenses. If you break uh, it, we won't be able to back? take over the world, Mike. Right? This is Money was spent on this show, oh. for sure. All right. <laughs> so for the viewers that can't see us. The fingers move in a robotic <laughs> way. There's a robotic so. middle finger. Uh, I think there might be like a, a powery button. It's like a robot thing. hand. It's all robotic. It is a robotic. There so might, there might be a power for the for the s- for the sake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there is. For the sake, oh that was fucking hilarious. <laughs> for for the for the sake of end game, Mike has blessed Man, us with. This is so. I can't get the sound of the Thanos's. The gems are supposed to light up, but I don't have a a screw dingy oh. that you need to get the the Hoppa Flugen off. So. This product was not prepared for an unboxing with the batteries in it already. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I didn't know. But this is, I could probably type with this. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes, Aunt Deb, you are totally correct. Half, half, if we get this fucking glove on, half of the world's fucking toast. <laughs> yeah. If I can just figure out how to snap. Uh, I don't know how to do it, but how cool is that? All right, so read me well, something. I can tell you this. Uh, after, after the ride home or on the way home, we can really thin out traffic with that. We could. We just That's need to. Thinking. We just need to load up the batteries first. Have you heard about the movement? Thanos was right. You know? No. Yeah. Could you tell me? Well, Legends Thanos was right. Series. Got it. <laughs> so the next story I have is in reference to a man that was in coma for 26 years. Dang. So, uh, without further ado, um, this story is out of Atlanta, Georgia. Richard Atkins, 64 had been in coma <laughs> for the last 26 years. The, really? The result of a hit-and-run car accident that left him hospitalized. Dang, for 26 years? Yeah, 26 years in the bed. Bro. Although doctors had told Atkins' wife, Miranda, that they believed 
if he ever woke up that he would be a vegetable, Miranda decided not to pull the plug. I'm so nice. glad I listened to my gut. I knew he'd wake up eventually, said Miranda. I am concerned about his choice to be put back under. So keep in mind, this guy went into coma for 26 years, and he's just asked to go back under. Interesting. All right, here we go. Doctors were flabbergasted that Atkins woke up late uh, last Tuesday morning, cracking jokes and asking for lunch. He is a marvel of the medical world, that's for sure, said Dr. Francis Joseph. I've been treating Atkins at this doctor, uh, as his doctor for the last 20 years of his 26 years in a comatose state, and I never expected this. He woke up, was fine, and didn't seem at all bothered that he'd been in coma for nearly three decades. In fact, he'd asked to be put back under. Yeah. Doctors say that they initially declined to give in to uh, Atkins' request, but eventually were persuaded. I told them that I had memories of being sexually abused while in my coma by hospital staff, said Atkins, before they put him back under. Don't tell anyone. That was total crap. I don't remember a thing. I just don't want to work again. Work sucks. <laughs> that way he could life go back hack. under. Life hack. He could go back under for one more year and get his social security. That's actually pretty cool. That's I pretty would cool. do that. If you're just wow. one year away. Boss move. Yeah. Holla. Smart. Shot calla. Smart. <laughs> And then to get the hospital staff to be like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, what do you got? Well, folks, um, getting away with murder. Getting away with murder. Was their, their first album. I mean, that was probably their, their, their big, big successful album. And that was their first album that they released that did not have any rapping on it. Now, we're going to get into a song... That was from the Paramore Sessions, and they call it the Paramore Sessions because they decided to do the entire album in the Paramore Mansion. The recorded, Papa Roach you're talking about. Yes, Papa Roach. <laughs> Papa Roach. Our featured band. Today. Our featured band. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead, and we're going to do that. But before we do, before we get into that, can we just give a big shout out okay. to anybody that stuck with us through uh, Greasy Conversation. What a great show. <laughs> yes. Waz runs there. Greasy Conversation, great show. Also, you know, check out Viva Ska Radio. Fantastic show. If you're looking into some ska, some reggae, man, it'll just brighten your day. And obviously, you cannot forget about the Rock and Comedy Show. Monday, Tuesdays, Wednesdays. It's a fun, fun show. Three hours long. Uh, lots of cool guests. A lot of cool music. And um, a lot of fun games. Tons of, a lot of good tons stuff. Of games. Tons of games. So lots, lots, lots of cool stuff going on. Um, also... You know, I love me some Tom Sexy Mitt Seaborn. You can always uh, check out his classic rock show. And there are others, too. Just the, the, the whole station is littered with all kinds of bananas. Lots of bananas. Don't forget to get the app. Download oh, yes. the app, and it's the best way to listen to it with the app on your phone. Download the app, and you can go right to the website now, RadioVegasRocks.com or RadioVegas.Rocks, and you can get the QR code and download the app from that. Absolutely. So there's so many ways to get this app, and the app is just stupendous. Stupendous. Well, with that, I just want to be loved. Everything is wonderful. You cannot go wrong with Everclear. Yeah, and they still make music to this day. Can you believe that? Well, you can drink Everclear and not want to return with that. No, Why don't you make you. your hand like it's on the carrot? Can I just say that we had a really disappointing game last night? Were you mm. disappointed? The, the Vegas Golden Knights. Like, we got kind of beat up. Yeah. There weren't enough kids in the stands. Tied in a knot. Like, oh, uh, I, hope, I, hope, I hope game six here in Vegas tomorrow does I a little just better. I like to put my hands in my pockets. That's weird. <laughs> now you're making me feel a little uncomfortable. Dude, it was a, it was a sucky game. They, yeah. they played like they were just off all night. Marc-Andre Fleury looked terrible. The lines looked terrible. The first line looks just wretched so they definitely got to have to get back onto the same page I, I, absolutely oh and i oh. have booked a trip i'm going to green bay wisconsin are you to see the first preseason game under new coach matt lafleur i'm so fucking pumped i'm going with my dad okay so that'll be it be so cool. you're a green bay packers fan uh, you, 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 okay so you're gonna go check out a, a preseason cool, cool, game cool, 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 cool. with your pops yeah mm -hmm. okay that sounds fun yeah I, I, I'm, I'm stoked. I'm stoked. All right. So what do you got for me? 
Um, so the only thing I got left is I'm, you know, what would you, what would you do to see another eclipse? Bangerang, Peter. Exactly. So NASA put this out. So get excited, stargazers, because it looks like there may soon be an extra nor extra ordinary cosmic event coming to the night sky. NASA posted a tweet announcing that they were thinking about doing a lunar eclipse in the near future if there was any interest. Earlier today, NASA put some feelers out in the Twitterverse to see if people would be down to witness some sort of once-in-a-lifetime outer space phenomenon tonight. Really? Letting fans offer input as what they'd like to see. Their actual tweet itself was just the thought... Who out there wants a lunar eclipse tonight? If you're interested, this let guy. us know. And, you know, I'm not reading you bullshit. Like, this is, this is NASA. This is legit. It's the, the little blue dots beside it. Um, so some of the... There was several uh, retweets immediately, obviously. Um, tons of likes. But um, just 38 minutes after the original post, NASA replies, or what about a blood moon? You guys like those, right? Oh, yeah, we could yeah, probably yeah, yeah. do one of those. That would um, be cool. That'd be cool. And then there was, uh, we're cool with whatever. Uh, we could do an eclipse and <laughs> claim it's a rare kind that only happens once every 2,000 oh, years or something. God, those are my favorite things. And say, like, that's the last time this uh, occurred. The, the Mayans believe the world would end. That could be fun. Wait. Are you talking, oh, you're talking about eclipse. Eclipse, yeah. I thought you talking about eclairs. I was getting hungry. Oh, no, no, no. I love those. Continue. Yeah. So, I mean, um, yeah, I mean, they and they go on to offer different kinds of, yeah, let's go ahead and, and do that. We'll call it an apocalypse moon and, and uh, spread the word apocalypse moon tonight. Um, apocalypse moon tonight. Hope you guys like it. Obviously, if you're in a, in a cloudy area um, of the United States, you probably won't see that. Or the Castle of Grayskull. It's true. You probably won't see it there either. Blood moon, blood moon, blood moon. Yeah, Woo! that'd be cool. Like uh, we just had a blood moon, and if, if some people missed it, I would understand where you would retweet and try to, to see it. Yeah. And I mean, with science being as cool as it is and as technical as it is, I wouldn't, you know, things happen, right? It's true. Um, you know what? I'm going to bring back around McDonald's. Oh, I'm going to circle this back that's around. So McDonald's nasty. gives me a blood moon, you know what I'm saying? It does. It, that's, you know, my girlfriend likes that, and it's just... Ugh. I can't eat it. All right, it. please do it. I please, can't eat it. Just go go with your story. I eat one sausage egg McMuffin, and oh, I have gross. the absolute gross. worst gas. Like, it's just like, I'm a little guy, but what comes out of me is like... Hugely toxic. Godzilla levels. I don't know what is wrong with me when I eat one of those, but it's gross. One London man has officially changed his name to Bacon Double Cheeseburger. Word up. Uh, formerly, Simon Smith, the 33-year-old, was one of 85,000 Brits who changed a name last year. Oh. But he's probably one of the few who took on a fast food-themed <laughs> moniker. And our producer is dying. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Cheeseburger. It was a step up. It was a step up. It was a step up. It was an improvement. It was improvement. Uh, Mr. Cheeseburger didn't adopt the name because he's a burger lover. It was more because he's slightly too enthusiastic of an alcohol lover. Oh. Yes. Uh, it was a culmination of probably too many drinks in the pub where there was a conversation about names, he told the London Evening Standard. Bacon double cheeseburger was pretty much the first thing that came up. Everybody loves bacon, don't they? Uh, he applied for the name change, and then when the paperwork came back a few weeks later, he was again out drinking with his friends when he decided to sign it. So he had it done, but he didn't sign it yet. Hmm, okay. a, a name is the least important part of your personality. Uh, it's given to you by someone else, uh, he said. Predictably, the people who gave him that name had some mixed reactions about it. <laughs> my mom was furious, but my dad thinks it's hilarious. He's more than happy to use my new name. His fiance, Isabella, is fairly reluctant about marrying a cheeseburger. <laughs> nah, you can't be like that. <laughs> no girl ever dreams of spending her big day marrying a man called Bacon. <laughs> <laughs> I, gotta be, I gotta be honest with you. I moved, yeah. it to, I moved it mute to say false. Yeah, bacon, bacon lovers, there's bacon bitches all over. Right? Despite the reactions, Bacon Double Cheeseburger is standing by his decision. I've got no regrets at all. It's been a very fun experience, 
and it's made a lot of people laugh. Absolutely. You know what? I can totally understand where he's coming from. Um, if you watch basketball, everybody knows of the the previous Laker, uh, Ron Artest, everybody and he became a uh, meta world peace. So why? Well, that's wh- right. Why? Why could you not name yourself Bacon Cheeseburger? And Chad Johnson became Chad Ocho Cinco. Yeah. And then promptly got the kicked Ocho. out of the NFL. <laughs> yes, the Ocho. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was that's pretty interesting. You had. Ah. You had mentioned the Waynes brothers earlier. Yeah. Funny story about that. When we came back from Disney World, okay. our, our limo driver, uh, or not limo, but our SUV driver, <laughs> he... Uh, nice save, Mr. Thing, limo. Right, Mr. Limo. Uh, he, I uh, have a... <laughs> shut up, peasant. I have a limo. <laughs> I have a limo. I have a limo. Don't be ashamed. You I asked fuck. him limo if he had shame. any celebrities in his car since last time we saw him, because okay. he's the guy that we like to use every time. And he said, yeah, he had the Waynes brothers. Okay, that's cool. I was which, like, oh, that's cool. Did he say which ones? But, I don't know. He just yeah. said two Wayans brothers. Oh, there's like seven of them. Like the In Living Color ones. There's still seven the of them. The good ones you got, like, those good Wayans? Hold on. Let me, could have been good. Let me pull but it he up. Said, he said they, they came off super duper homosexually gay. <laughs> Really? Yeah. That's their sense of and humor, though. That's this, guy's from yeah, Haiti. Say, this guy's from Haiti, so it was really weird. He's like, they come off super gay. You know, I, I can't do a Haitian accent. Because so, Haiti, they probably don't play the gay play like we oh, do. Probably we play it. gay all day. We do. We do. Yeah. Well, there's Damon Wayans. There's Marlon. Damon Wayans Jr. Keenan Ivory. Yeah. Who, who, Keenan Ivory is pretty funny. Who's he, he's, he's dumb man. He's like, yeah. he's the one that like was in charge of In Living Color. Um, yeah, I think he's my favorite. He's, yeah. he's like the big boss hog yeah. of the Wayans. That's four? Uh, then there's Sh- uh, Sean. Sean Wayne's. Okay, mm-hmm. so there's five. And that's the only ones that that do movies. Shaquanda Wayne's. There, there's there's some other ones, uh, but they're not. They're not. They're not involved. Me. But he said they were super gay, and I thought I thought that was interesting because I, I was pretty sure they were like married. But he said I they could were... see like Marlon if it was uh, Marlon. Um, then, then probably. You yeah. know they were messing with that driver. Probably they were probably well. fucking with him. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, that's what I'm thinking. If, right? it, if it was, because that's what they do. I Marlon and Sean, yeah. the like they yeah. were in scary movie. <laughs> like that, that was like all they did in scary movie, right? Yeah, it was basically do gay stuff. Yeah. Right? Yeah. They're funny. white girls. They're funny. The white as hell. girls. White yeah. girls. Come They're on, now. funny. They are funny. Yeah. It's funny. We were having a conversation about comedians, and uh, you talking about stand up comedy. I still think the best stand up comedian was Robin Williams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but my favorite, like, TV, it's still got to be Jim Carrey. I mean, I know he's gotten weird. And he's really <laughs> got weird over the years. <laughs> but, man, tell me. But tell haven't we all, so though? I mean, it I doesn't love matter. his paintings, though. They're oh, he's a painter. Powerful. Dude, you got to check out his paintings. They're political. That's right. He's They're super like political, political now. cartoon paintings. Yeah. That's right. Is he, like, super anti-Trump? Is he, I was going to say, is he Republican <laughs> like, or Democratic? Yeah. Every, like, every celebrity is, like, super yeah, anti-Trump totally. because they think it's cool. Why is it? Well, why, it's why a is California it that, thing. It's a oh, very blue state. Yeah. yeah. So you, you tr- once you travel all over the, the state, um, I guess, borders, you, you turn Democratic. Yeah, I just, it kills me because they get, they get bent out of shape because they think he's a, a horrid piece of shit, right, basically. It probably is, but... Name one president who wasn't. Yeah. We had problems. We tried to impeach Clinton. We tried... Did, though. People... He just didn't leave. (laughs) (laughs) We tried to... I mean, people... When Obama was in office, people hated him. I mean, he was hated. Richard Nixon. Hello. I mean, the only president I could think that people were like... That John F. Kennedy. John, Everybody JFK? loves JFK. Everybody loved JFK. He, <laughs> he was like the worst president when it comes to staying to alive. S- well, yeah. Sure. He, well, these he, are he really, he really didn't have his head on his shoulders. But what I'm trying to get at <laughs> was... Uh, da-da. Da-da. Um, like he, it wasn't just Marilyn Monroe. Let's be real. It was Marilyn Manson. Um, that would be Wait, scary. What, what are we talking about? He, he was he loved the women he loved the ladies so did bill clinton what's wrong with that he he only got caught with two of them though who who bill did? clinton oh yeah see there you go well that we know of i mean it's like michael jackson see, how many so, people got paid to so shut that up? means we upgraded in president he was better on the dl um, i don't know president's not usually like in charge of like love making so i think it's like presidential shit that the new president's doing different than previous ones that people are more concerned about I, think people, I mean, there's like president-related stuff that's definitely happening differently. 
that's all I'll say. But about I but love you mean politics. the same kind of president situation. You, are you talking? Well, you well, actually, I think that's because most. Honestly, wow, well, we're gonna go for a hell of a spin here. <laughs> this yes. is because most presidents have 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 been in the U.S. military. Do you, you want to know? Do you want to know where his ideals are based off of? And it's hilarious if you go back and look at it. You'd be like, oh, oh my god, we love this guy, but for some reason we hate this guy, Ronald Reagan. Okay. Well, Ronald Reagan's drug policies. Yeah, that was pretty. Yeah. Because I mean, the war on drugs pretty much. Uh, made mexico impoverished and <laughs> led to way more deaths from uh, from yeah, like totally. um underground you know like mafia murders yes kinda that's like, true yeah, yeah. kind of like the when we banned alcohol there was just a bunch of people dying from mob stuff yeah. yeah so it was like that so that wasn't the best move from prohibitions Man. maybe reagan did some other stuff great but that was kind of a fail yeah i don't really know i was a kid yeah I, I, I didn't care back then. Yeah. All I cared about... Oh, d- this is what's cool. Queen Elizabeth has been there through all of it. Yeah. Yeah. That, our girl. That is a badass boss bitch. That's yeah, true. It's our lady. Dude, she is... She, I don't know if she will ever die. No. No, I she won't. I honestly don't know. She is invincible and perishable. <laughs> She's why Canada's great. Yeah. She is the only person that Chuck Norris and is Florida. actually afraid of. Totally. Yeah. Totally. That's it. I think you're right. The, the, the good old Queen L. Queen Lolo, they call her. Queen Lolo. <laughs> I feel like I sure, knew that. I hear that all the time. I feel like I, feel like I knew that. <laughs> right? You know, one day, one day when we get big and bad, we're actually going to meet her before she passes. I'm, I'm confident of it. We'll have her here in, no, that's fine. in we, Kicker yeah, Studio. Her, you know. we've, we've probably we'll got a good her, 20, 30 years. We'll have her here in <laughs> Kicker <laughs> Studio. By then, we will um, have ironed out all of our kinks, and it yeah, will yeah, go yeah. Um, amazingly for her. It's going to be a pile of stem cells by then. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool. We're going to look at, yeah. Maybe they'll make her attractive. I don't know. Like a sentient glob of stem cells on a table. <laughs> have you noticed that she's the only one over there that has f- fancy teeth? I'm just saying. Yeah, Ooh, she can afford them. That's worth a stinger. <laughs> that's worth a stinger. <laughs> Go for it. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, that was that slicing. Hey. That yeah. Was well, slicing that's uh, that's just about our time. No! <laughs> that was scary. That was like... Uh, We're out of time. That sounded like... Um, Something from like uh, I don't want to say Friday the Thirteenth. Hit me with the other one. Salami. What? Jason. Oh, Salami Jason. That was scary. Oh, Jason. Jason the Thirteenth. Jason. Man, you haven't seen it. Friday the Thirteenth. Folks out there on Elm Street. in Facebook land and live stream land on Radio Land, would you tell this mofo to watch it? It is fantastic. My my homie Ronnie like has told it. me that, that, that I need to watch Creed too. He he says Creed's amazing. He's Creed? he's he's blowing me up about not You're watching Creed. About Scott Stapp, Scott, Scott Stapp's band. Yeah, Rock. You know Rocky. Hey Rock, go ah. Oh, but can it that. take you higher? It's a different Creed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the the movie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, before we get out of here, I just want to thank everybody for tuning in. No, Ronnie, I have not seen it. Uh, thank you for tuning in uh, to Two Clueless like Dudes. An owl, that's how you end it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 Be sure to check us out www.twocluelessdudes.com. That's Two Clueless Dudes. Just don't be lazy and put a two. Yeah. Spell it out. Spell it out. Don't be weird. Word. At least then for also, a couple months till Google figures it out. Do, we, <laughs> we, are, do we have like a subscribe thing yet? Can we do something like that? I don't know. Yeah, give me a sec. We'll, we'll get it in. All right. That's a good idea. All right. The man, the myth, take the legend's it. working on that. But no, the pr- hopefully the soon producer will take to, care of us. I'll let you guys you can also sure. check. <laughs> <laughs> you can also check us out at www.radiovegasrocks.com yeah. or radiovegas.rocks. Bro, I would be happy if you just follow us on Instagram. You can follow us on Instagram at Two Clueless Dudes. You can follow us on Facebook, Two Clueless Dudes. We're on the Twitter um, two clueless dudes. And also, quick shout out: um, if you are interested in anything Disney, anything Disney at all, you want to know about sales, you want to know about what's going on, you want to know about just lifestyle things, Disney hacks going on on Amazon, anything Disney, go to ourdislife.com. All right, stay tuned for the very next show. Die laughing, 
podcast only on Radio Vegas Rocks. Have a good one.